Do not be unequally bound together with unbelievers. Do not make mismatched alliances with them, inconsistent with your faith. For what partnership can righteousness have with lawlessness? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? What harmony can there be between Christ and Belial, meaning Satan? Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? What agreement there is there between the temple of God and the idols? For we are the temple of the living God, just as God said. I will dwell among them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. So come out from among unbelievers and be separate, says the Lord, and do not touch what is unclean, and I will graciously receive you and welcome you with favor. And I will be a father to you, and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, today, Lihon. I want to tell you that you have a father. Just right, I have a father. What is the meaning of a father? You know, the Bible says that where Jesus, when he was cooking, he said, I won't leave you orphans. It means everyone in this world is an orphan. Tell everybody, you're an orphan. Even when you have a father now, you're an orphan. Your father is an orphan. So here we are beginning to learn the word of God in a way that God wants us to come to him. The first thing that was written there. He was, he, he was saying that you must not compare yourself with unbelievers. God wants us to be different with unbelievers. Even to align with them. Even to work with them. You know, this, the first verse, just read that first verse. Do not be unequally bound together with unbelievers. Let's look at the second verse. The second standard of oh. that verse. For, for what? That's the second standard. For what partnership can righteousness have with lawlessness? Did you hear that? What kind of friendship? What kind of doing together? Do we have? I mean, uh, this verse is clear. It will make us to reason more. Okay. Carry on. It says what? And it says, oh, what fellowship can light have with darkness? So it says, what fellowship can light, and, uh, can light have with darkness? What kind of partnering? How do you have a friend who is unbelieving? 
What are you talking when you are together? So the Bible says, Bible. what agreement is there between the temple of God and idol? So, it's referring to the agreement. How do you make covenant together? How do you make covenant together? So, there's something that God said. He says, come out from them. I will dwell among them. And walk with them. If you come out from them, I'll be your God. Now, I want to bring something here. God is not visible because we have got agreement. If you pray and you don't see a change, check people around you. We spoke a lot about Abraham. Why, why God spoke with Abraham and leave your father's house? Because his father, Terah, was unbelieving. He had gods that he was worshipping. Okay, let's read this verse. Man. It says, and I will be their God and they shall be my people. So come out from among the people and separate them. But now listen to this. Can you just read, continue on this verse? And do not touch what is unclean. And I will graciously receive you and welcome you with favor. Did you hear that? Carry on reading. And I will be a father to you. Stop there. Here God is no longer talking about being God. He's talking about two things. The first one, you cannot make agreement with unbelievers. Come out among them. And I'll be your God. The second one, he says, you need to be holy. And I'll be your father. Can you hear that verse there? You need to be clean. And I'll be your father. Okay, just read that verse again. Mama. And I will be a father to you. Uh -huh. And you will be my sons and daughters. Says the Lord Almighty. No, start from verse 17. 17. Uh -huh. So come out from among unbelievers and be separate, says the Lord. Yes. And do not touch what is unclean. And I will graciously receive you and welcome you with favor. And I will be a father to you. And you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. God wants to give us his favor. God, he wants to welcome us. Now, what is the first thing that God wants to give us? to take you there. to the Bible says, I will be a father to you. And you will be my son. Yeah, the Bible didn't say you will be Christians. It says you will be a son or a daughter. We are making mistakes that we don't know our Father God. You have a Father God. How do you live with your father? You know, I've read a scripture in the book of Luke 15. Can you just read from verse 17 to 22? Uh -huh. 
But when he finally came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have more than enough food while I am dying here of hunger? I will get up and go to my father. And I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Just treat me like one of your hired men. So he got up and came to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was moved with compassion for him and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servant, Quickly bring out the best robe for the guest of honor and put it on him and give him a ring for his hand and sandals for his feet and bring the fattened calf and slaughter it and let us invite everyone and feast and celebrate. Can you hear that? Leave Bile. Jesus was teaching about a prodigal son. He was still a son. But himself, he chose to rebel. And took everything that I, God gave him. And he said, I don't want to work with my father. I'm getting out of the house of my father. Let me go and live my own life. When he's there, he will start to happen. But the Bible says, when he came to his senses. Tell him about come to your senses. You know, there are some senses. A level of sense. That we need to discover. We need to know who is our father. We need to understand him. Than to just eat junk. Than just to be there as long as we are there. You know, we are eating junk. Let me try to tell you what I'm saying. We are beginning to learn some doctrine that make us beggar or Whatever we are learning, doesn't give us a right of the inheritance as a servant. We have become Christians who are just want to get things from God. Whereas we carry the same DNA that makes us to live like our father. If you can read there, it looks like this man undermined his father and began to start another life and went away from the house of his father. There are so many lives we are getting that really, I mean, destroy our status as a son and a daughter. Today we live like we are Christians. You know, you know what the meaning of Christians? It's like we are a group that, that, that want to represent Christ. But whereas we are the house of Christ. Can you hear that? We are the house of the house of the house of the house of the 
He knows something in his mind. Which he knows. Is, there, is that level of ignorance. It's only when he discovers. The Bible says he came to his senses. We, today we need to discover. We must come to our senses. And understand why the Bible says God is our Father. And how do we live with Him? Do, do you know from the scriptures that I want to read here? If you read John 17, verse 25, ah. you will see Jesus had the same thing when He sees people of the world. Can you just read verse 25? It says, Oh, just and righteous Father, although the world has not known you and has never acknowledged you, and the revelation of your mercy, yet I have always known you, and these believers know without any doubt that you sent me. Can you hear that? Jesus said, when he look at the world, he says, they, they, they have not come to their senses. They are ignorant. Because when Jesus came, he was coming to present his father. He was coming to make us to know his father. His father, father is our father. But now, he revealed that the believers. He, he, he is when he was praying. He says, oh, just and Russia's father. This world does not know you. But I know you. You, I know you. You know, we need to reach a level where Jesus has to reveal our Father God to us. So that we know how to live with Him. And we know to, how to go by His rules. And we will live without fear. Me, I was looking at our Christian life. I found that Many of us, we are not different with the people in the world. I, I just found that we don't know the Father. We don't know him. The Father God is all about his love for us. He really loves us a lot. A Father in the house, take care of his own house. Some principles of the father, he take care of his children. I understand when the scripture says, First Peter 5 verse 7, cast your curse upon him. He's a father. He takes care of you. All your cares. He is a father. He mind about you. There are certain things that uh, your father will never give you. Doesn't mean that he doesn't give you because you are not praying enough. If you are in the house of your father, he is looking at you and looking at your level. Therefore, what is important is your level. If, if you go back, how will I to the story of a prodigal son. You will hear when the elder brother came back complaining to say, my father, you have not even given me a goat. You have not given me 
anything. And I Papa. serve you faithfully. And I have to say that 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 I your, your fellowship with him does not comprise what you need to receive from him. It's all about a strong bond of relationship that you need to build with him, not what you will get from him. This man says, I have served you. He he says, says, you don't need to worry all these things. They are yours. All these things are yours. Because you are here. Even when you are, you are not having anything now. Not that you have everything. I don't know if you are hearing me. We are making mistakes of taking this kind of Christian life because our Christian life now is based on what you can get. What you need in life. It's not based on relationship of you and your father. It's not based on the love that is given you and see you as inherited. The person that will inherit what is about to give you. Can you see why we are making mistakes? Today we are coming to church because we need promotion. The day you get promotion. I, I found that in our churches nowadays. Someone will be beaten by the world. After beaten, beaten in the world. Now the person wants to marry, come to church. And lift up the hands very high. And even cry there like the person is is The character of a Christian. This is something that we are preaching today. This is all about our When you are in your father's house, you know that you are under his authority. You know, you, there are things you never cry for. Even when you're not getting them, you know you are in the your father. father. Listen, the, your father gives promises, but not all promises he will fulfill. Sometimes he will just say, I'm going to buy you this, but he does not give you. And when he does not give you, you have got a reason. I don't know if you are hearing me. If you take our houses and how you live with your father and you go back after you have lived with your father in the natural you go back and look at the spiritual one and try to behave the same I'm telling you, you will not cry when you don't receive you will try to Build and love your father God because he has loved you. Uh, I don't know if you are here. Can you see I'm presenting another Christianity to you? I just want to get out from this Christianity of I receive. I receive. I receive. The way you are even I receiving is like, it's like it's coming from the pastor, it's not coming from the pastor. The way you are claiming these things, I claim it, you, you a child of God, claiming, oh my God, you don't know your father. Because your father wants to give you things in due time. When you are saving him, how when you are tangela, fellowshipping how with him, when you are loving him, how he has set a date that will shock oh, everybody. I don't know if you are hearing me. So do you understand your father now? Let's read your scripture. Rest in peace. 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 Rest in 
verse 1 to 9. I want you to From verse 1 to 9. I want you to understand your part. Read you are yeah, just read. Arevale. Be very careful mm -hmm. not to do your good deeds publicly to be seen by men. Otherwise, you will have no reward, meaning prepared and awaiting you. Stop there. Did you hear that? When you know your father around, because your father can see, be very careful because even when you are doing something, he is seeing it. Your father, you know, uh, sometimes when you, your father at home, when you are growing, you just say, hey, take care of those goods. One day you lose one. They call him and ask him, Where are you? Ah, no, I lost it. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Do you think your father doesn't love you? He He's giving you responsibility. He's teaching you. Oh, fama my carabello, we are ruta. I don't know if you're hearing me. So your father knows every step of your way. You must be careful. Because he's your father. You're growing in his house. Let's get on reading. Mm -hmm. And it says, with your father who is in heaven. So whenever you give to the poor, and do acts of kindness. Do not blow a trumpet before you to advertise it as the hypocrites do, like actors eight acting out of out a role in the synagogue and in the streets, so that they may be honored and recognized and praised by men. Oh God, stop there. Did you hear that? Now you are understanding your father now. He's giving you instructions. You say, you, you are not supposed to be praised by men. Because you are doing things copying from me. When I give rain, I even give to the wicked. So, so now, when you want to give to the poor, no, don't blow the whistle. No, don't go to Facebook. Me, 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 me I'm your father. You know, there are certain things that we are doing that shows that we don't know this father. I don't know if you are hearing me. What you are doing is recorded. What you are saying is recorded. Your, your father is watching. You are in the hand of your father God. Okay, carry on. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, they already have their reward in full. My God. But yeah. when you give to the poor and do acts of kindness, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give in complete secrecy mm -hmm. so that your charitable acts will be done in secret and your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Mm -hmm. Also, can you hear that? Can you hear that? When we start to develop friendship with our father, we must know that we don't have a secret. We must know that we don't do things to show anyone. We are exposed. I think people will try to expose others. You don't waste your time. Because because we are exposed. Tell them I'm exposed. I'm exposed. Because your father sees in secret. Uh, now 
I can see publicity does not even go with Christianity. I don't know if you are hearing me. Publicity doesn't even go because you are in the corner there. Doing small things there. Doing what you are doing there. Your father is watching. He said, this one. This one is, I, I, I know this one. <laughs> you know, one day uh, we were talking with, uh, with Andres. I, I, I was saying to him, Andres, do you know our, the way our father treats us? He doesn't treat us the same. I don't know if you are hearing me. <laughs> You know, you know, our father doesn't treat us the same. It's like you have got animals. Eh? There's a, there's a, there's some dog that you love. Eh? Eh? This dog I love. I love this dog. There's another dog you don't want this dog. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. So if, if you begin to do things without showing. You are inviting the love of the father to work on because you. Because already the father has, has, has presented his love. But that love must work in you. I don't know if you are hearing me. If, if you are hearing me, say amen. 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 When, when you have got cows, 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 when you want to kill you say, let me kill this. You know, if God can come here, we'll just say, no, I, don't want, I don't want this one to die. This one must die. Because you, you are his pets. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. You, 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 are, you, are, you, you are in his fingers. He's the father. Kintati. Whatever he does, no one can say anything. You, you, you need to learn to do things to please him. The first thing is there's no publicity. Don't do things to make people to be aware yeah, of you. Of what what you done. Done. Don't attract any eyes. Of any one. Have segments. Because your father see in the segment. Did you hear that verse? If, if we can read, continue. We just read it. Yes. Also, when you pray, do not be like hypocrites. Uh -huh. For they love to pray to pray publicly, standing in the synagogues yes. and on the corners of the streets yes. so that they may be seen by men. I assure you and most solemnly say to you, they already have their reward in full. Uh, my God. Uh, I was asking one lady, I said, why When you go out, why are we? The moment when you go out from your house, when you are going to have people where they are gathering of people. You put makeup. Why when you don't go out, you don't see people? Why how do you come on to us? I choose to leave makeup. She look at me like. No, I'm just doing that. I said, no. Can you put your makeup before you sleep? And you wash it uh, when you're going to sleep. Maybe, maybe three hours before you sleep. Put it and now, when you're going to sleep, take it out. She said, no, I cannot do that. I said, so why do you do it when you are going to the people? I said, it means you want to be seen by people. So why you still want to be seen by people when you have reached 11 where someone saw you? Why you still want to be seen by people when you have reached 11 where someone saw you? Why you why do you still want to be seen by people when why you are seen you already? Why do you still want to be seen by people when you are seen you already? 
Kare re ke thalose hore molato di a jwa lo tola dilotse. You want to present yourself. O nyokoro o tibi e o bonahala. That's the reason why you want to put. Ke lona le baka la ro di jwa. There are things. O na le dilo. That you know very well. Je o di botse bang botse. That they cannot present you that out your face. O re wena o ka sto bonahala botse o fetisha sefateo sa gao. So now because you want to look presentable. Don ka le baka la ro nyoko bona la go le motho ya bolelegang pele ga batho. It's the same thing with a Christian life. There are things you need to stop. So that you will be presentable to your God. Because you can still look like you are a Christian, you are going to heaven. 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 But whereas inside you are not. Tell your neighbor that there are things you need to stop to Did you hear what I said? There are things. Look here. Makeup is on the flesh. Makeup is on the flesh. But there are things in the spirit that you need to stop. That you need to stop. If you stop those things, you will be presenting yourself. Take care of yourself. There are things that when God look at you, he's so happy. If, if you read verse, that, carry on that verse, just read the last verse. I'm sure it's verse 6. Verse 6. Yes. But when you pray, go into your most private room, uh -huh. close the door and uh -huh. pray to your father uh -huh. who is in secret. Uh -huh. And your father who sees what is done in secret uh -huh. will reward you. Carry, carry on reading. And when you pray, uh -huh. do not use meaningless repetition as the Gentiles do. Uh -huh. For they think they will be heard because of their many words. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Carry on reading. So do not be like them, praying as they do, uh -huh. for your father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then in this way. Our father who is in heaven. Stop there. Now you can see that even when we ask things, I'm beginning to understand that asking things from your father God. We feel like we have delayed it. Because he's aware of us now. We are with him. Can you see there? He says, even when you ask, he knows before you even ask. Can you just, can you just read that scripture? It's your father. is responsible. So, do not be like them praying as they do mm -hmm. for your father knows what you need before you ask him. Did you hear that? Amen. My God, this shows that Tabaye our chari, chari, chari na. cannot bring the results. Tell me about your prayer cannot bring results. It's, it's a lifestyle with him that brings results. I don't know if you hear me. If, if we start to live with him as a father, it brings results. When we say something, before we, we finish it, it he happens. knows what we are. We have a father here. We really have a father. We, we seem to be like, you know, sometimes when you come to church, when you listen to some prayers, you hear someone say, Rabashaka, 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 I say, what is he saying? He says, I pray for you. Is he praying or what is he saying? This something called incantation. You know, people who worship Satan and uh, you know, they want to call spirits to come here. So how do they call spirits? They, they make a recitation. 
Ba bushetsa mantsi ya tshin 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 tshin. When the spirit comes, they say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they change now. Bobo, Bebe, Bibi, they are speaking with the spirit. But you, you are with your father here. Can you change how you pray? Change how you pray. The way you are praying is like your father is an idol. It's like you are calling a spirit. This father has given us Holy Spirit. And this Holy Spirit, it is the one who teaches what to pray. Okay, let me show you from the book of Romans. Romans 8. Romans 8. Let's start from verse 12, Mama. Mm. Amen. I just want you to understand. What I'm talking about. So then, brothers and sisters, uh -huh. we have an obligation, but not to our flesh, meaning our human nature, our worldliness, our sinful capacity to live according to the impulses of the flesh, our nature without the Holy Spirit. For it is you. For if you are living according to the impulses of the flesh, you are going to die. But if you are living by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are habitually putting to death the sinful deeds of the body. Can you, you hear will... that? Can you hear that? Liaigua. We have the Holy Spirit. When we are living by the Holy Spirit, we are destroying the nature of sin in us. This scripture is, I love it like that. It is not easy to live with your father and understand him without the Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit. We have got one spirit with the spirit that Jesus was having. That's why Jesus was able to call God Father. That's why Jesus was able to call God Father. It was because of the Holy Spirit. Here the Bible says, if we carry on, we will die. But if we let we are led by the Spirit of God. We nullify the nature of the flesh. In we our shall lives. live. Carry on reading, Mama. Mm -hmm. You have not received, read there. Yes. For you have not received a spirit of slavery leading again to fear of God's judgment, but you have received the spirit of adoptions as sons. Amen. The spirit producing sonship by which we, will, we joyfully cry, Abba, Father. Amen. That spirit in Moya us make us when it's tough. You know what the Bible says? Let's go to the Bible. We cry. Rilla. The Bible says we cry because our, our situation sometimes can make us to forget we have a father. But the spirit in us makes us to cry saying we have a You can still say, I have a father when it's tough. You have a father when you're opposed. When you're challenged. You have a father when you're facing all. Cry, Abba, Father. Read that verse, Mama, again. Uh -huh. It says, For you have not received a spirit of slavery, uh -huh. leading again to fear, of God's judgment, but you have received the spirit of adoption yes. as sons, mean the spirit producing sonship, yes. by which we joyfully cry, Abba, Father. The Bible was supposed to be said, on which we say, Abba, Father. 
Sometimes when you are going through all, to see your father, father, it looks oblivious. When you are just saying, Oh, I have father. But when we look at you, we see that you don't have whatever you want in life. Yeah, the Bible says the spirit in us is able to make us even to cry. Not only to say, you know, people are able to speak when things are good. But people are they cry when things are tough. But I'm here to tell you that you have a father whether it's tough or not. Stand with your father. Love him. The uh, day before yesterday, I called my wife. And I said, Mama, before we sleep, I said, you need to love Jesus. I was telling my wife, I said, Love Jesus more than the way you love him. I say, I know you love me, but love, Jesus more. love the Father more. Because I know that if she's able to do that, she will do it perfectly on my side. The love that she will give me will be perfect. If she's able to love more. But listen, there are things that happen in your life that when we look at you, it looks like your father is God. Have you ever find that it is Christmas time and other children, they Wearing new clothes. And they say, hey, it's my father who bought me this. But you are coming out without new clothes. They will laugh at you. It looks like your father is failing. It is not all about what is outside. The spirit of God is inside. You are still going to say, I have a father. If we can have Christians, who can stand? Strengthen their bonds with their father. Whether it's tough, whether it's good, those Christians cannot be stopped. By the day of visiting, they will see things that have never seen. I don't know if you're hearing me. God sometimes, I mean God your father, sometimes he will leave you and leave you not to have anything tangible. Anything tangible. That doesn't mean that he has forsaken you. He's still your father. He's still your father. Strengthen that bond. Carry on loving him. There are things he's working in your spirit when he's allowing that to happen. There were times where I used to pray and ask myself, I pray a lot, but I cannot see a change. It's not all about us changing things. We have a father, we must love him as it is. Sometimes he allows things to happen. Look at this thing that happened to Job. When, 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 Father God, listen. By that time, Holy Spirit was not here. Everybody was calling a servant. It was before Jesus came. Look when God says, I have a servant. His name is Job. No one is like him. Our Father Rangers. I mean, our Father knows us. He says, look, I've got that one. No one is like him. Do you know that you know, when God looks at us, he knows you are number five. God is ranging us. God is ranging us. How can he say job? No one is like him. Job was blessed, yes. But what makes him to be blessed? Because he was different. 
That's the reason why he was blessed. I'm here to tell you. You need to know you still have a father. Whether it's tough or not. Whether you are sick or not. Whether you are blocked or not. Enjoy your father. Have a fellowship with him. And your fellowship must be in the way. I don't know if you're hearing me. Okay, look at this other verse. Because me, I want to give you verses. Let's read Psalm 103. Psalm 103. Yes. Psalm 103. Just read from verse 8. From verse 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in compassion and loving kindness. He will not allow, he will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins as we deserve, nor rewarded us with the punishment according to our wickedness. Did you hear that? Amen. Sometimes you can do wrong, but your father is merciful. He's he has not dealt with us according to our wrongdoings. Listen, if you have done wrong and nothing happened, don't ever think he didn't see. Is that he is merciful. We have a father who is merciful. Sometimes he will leave us. He knows everything. He knows everything. He knows what you are going through. He loves you so much. Can you just read continue, Mama? Yes. Yes. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his loving kindness towards those who fear and worship him with awe-filled respect and deepest reverence. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Just as a father loves his children, so the Lord loves those who fear and worship him with all filled respect and deepest reverence. For he knows our mortal frame. He remembers what we are, merely dust. As for men, his days are like grass, like a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is no more, and its place knows it no longer. But the loving kindness of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who reverently fear him and his righteousness to children's children, to those who honor and keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments imprinting his word on their hearts, the Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his sovereignty rules over all the universe. Bless the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his commandments, obey the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you who serve me, who serve him and do his will. Bless the Lord, all you who works off of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the affectionately praise the Lord, O oh my soul. You know, I just wanted Mama to read everything. When I began to know that our Father is merciful, I realized that all of us, we don't deserve to but because of his mercy, we will sit with him. The Bible says he knows the frames. In other words, 
even before we were born, we knew what happened. Yeah. Yeah. But now we know him. He opened his hands. Come to me. I want to be your father. The Bible says we are mere dust. But still, he wants to be our father. You know, many people like me. I mean, if I begin to look where I come from, I begin to look where I come from. There was a time where my father rejected me. But I wish my father was here. So that he accepts Jesus. Because when I begin to look where I come from, and you become rejected, because there's nothing you can do. It, think about when your father will give birth to you. Because he sees nothing. There is nothing he's seeing on the But God, who is our own father, sees that there is something in this because he knows the frame. He knows he knows the frame. frame. We are making mistakes. We are so much in how to get things from him. And that is why we cannot thank him. Enough or live with him. We are living in the house. You know, Jesus says something. He says, if you are wicked, how much more your father in heaven will give you what you can ask if you are able to give your children what you need, how much more this God is merciful our father is merciful we need to know it I, I was looking at God. I said, God, we don't know. Yesterday, when I was praying, I said, God, forgive us. We don't know you. Because many of us, we are crying to associate ourselves with something to be something. But God here, he has offered us more than that. He has offered us more than that. Do you know that in this world, I found that many people want to be prophets. But there's, there's more than that, a son. A son and a daughter. I don't know if you are hearing me. People want to be a prophet. Because so prophets are rich. But the moment when you are a son, a daughter, all that belongs to your father belongs to you. I don't know if you are hearing it. You don't need to ask. Now I have to stop asking. But I'm asking for this. I'm asking for this. Because, because I, I, I began to see God as my father. If God is my father, angels must come. I cannot I cannot ask, ask, what says the angels? What says the Bible? The angels are there to serve us. They serve Jesus. Who is the son they can serve can you? you. There are some things we are crying to get And we have been offered those things. We have been offered those things. You are a son in the house. You are a daughter in the house. We need to see you performing. You know, Jesus said, listen to me, I'm going to the Father. Before that, he said, you will do what I've done. But because I'm going to Mara the no Father, no 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 you will do more. Do what I have done. Do you know why we are not doing what Jesus did? Because 
Christians. And everybody can say that. The Dutch Reformed 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 can the things that the creation want to see. This is impossible. It cannot be done by this person. You know, this is the time that your family need to look at you and see the impossibilities. And to you, you see possibilities. I don't know if you are hearing me. Can we change it from today? Because we are born to produce what no one can do. We have got ability. His nature. He said he will give us favor. He said he will give us favor. He, he will give us favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As your neighbor say, Are you sure you're a son or a daughter? But you are praying like a beggar. You pray like a beggar. Some times, listen to this. Sometimes people, I want to tell you that. Are, some people won't join Christianity because of the way you pray. The way you are praying. There's some people when they pray. <laughs> You even ask, ah, look how Jesus was praying. The Bible said he looked up. He said, Father, I know you're ready. But because of this, he was talking. But look how we are praying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone is looking and say, hey, what is happening here? Here, here even our whisper is your father. Just change how you pray. Sometimes it's becoming like so crazy. It's a Peter. It's a Peter. It's a Peter. Sometimes I'm even asking myself, what's now going on? on? That is the reason today when I come here. I say, I must continue. I was checking the crazy people. I was checking the crazy people. When I look around, I say, thank God we don't have crazy people. Thank God we don't have crazy people. I was, I, I know them. <laughs> because they don't know their father. <laughs> they don't know their father. They think by their activities and what they, they do. They are like on strike. You know when, when, when you are striking, an injury to war is an injury to war. An injury to war. An injury to war. An injury to war. Your father. <laughs> Are you sure it's your father or you are on a strike? If you fathers are wicked, you are able to give good gifts. How much more? How much more? How much more? The one that before you pray. Oh, I ring how so to me like a chapel. He knows. Uba se chatiwa. What you want? Jeu di nyaka. And he will give you. And oto ufa chon. Do you know what our father is doing? Let's see what our father is doing. He's looking at us. Kuri lebele chifela. Shake his head. Ashishinya thong. 
I says, I don't know this one. So I sprayed. That's why Jesus, That's why Jesus was able to make that parable of the man who was saying, Me, first twice, I give time. I'm not like that one. Yes. yes. And Jesus was saying, Oh, yes, look at that one who said, Father, Father I don't even. I will lack in a the power of the father. the to be there. That he was not fit to be. If before you have a father, Live like one. You have a father. Live like you have got a father. God bless you.